Okay, so now that we've got the phone burner app installed in our Salesforce environment, there are a few other components associated with the phone burner app that I want to talk to you about. So we're going to go ahead and click on the nine dot menu in the upper left hand corner. And we're going to type in phone burner. And let's open up the phone burner app in Salesforce. Within the app, there's a couple tabs that I want to talk to you about dial session history and voicemail recordings. But first off, let me point out, when you first install the app, if you go to dial session history or voicemail recordings, neither one of them will have any data because you have to create a link between Salesforce and the phone burner account that this Salesforce account is linked to. You've got to create this, uh, this link, this authentication between systems. And this is something that you have to do on a per user basis. There's information both inside Salesforce and inside PhoneBurner that you're going to need in order to create this connection. And so I'm going to walk you through that. So here we have some instructions right here on the voicemail and dial session history pages. Uh, we need to go to our personal Salesforce settings. So that's this link right here. And then once we go there, we're going to type in authentication in the quick find. And we're going to go to authentication settings for external systems. And we're going to go ahead and add a new connection. So these first two options you're going to leave as is. And then this option here allows you to choose which user within your Salesforce environment you're creating this connection for. Now I'm in a demo org, so I only have the one user. So I select that user. And for authentication protocol, we're going to leave that set as password authentication. And you're going to get your username and password from the Salesforce integration page within your phone burner account. So once again, Salesforce integration is found in the phone burner settings under integrations in the Salesforce section. So here you can see I've got an API key and user key. So the user key is what we put in the username box. And the API key is what we put in the password box. Once we've updated the username and password, we're going to go ahead and save. Now that we've saved that, if we go back to voicemail recordings, we will be able to see any recordings that we've created within the phone burner platform itself, as well as have the ability to create our own voicemails within the Salesforce UI. If we click on the dial session history tab, we'll be able to see any dial sessions that we've done through this phone burner account within our Salesforce environment. And that's it. That's how easy it is to actually connect your phone burner account with your Salesforce account so that you can see your dial session history as well as view and update your voicemail recordings all within the Salesforce UI. Once again, there's still lots more for us to configure and set up between the two systems. So make sure you continue watching these training videos, but I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thanks again and happy dialing.